and the vehicle has now gone into closed loop steering. And booster PU is also in closed loop control. Engine response looks good for the set mix ratio. Current altitude is 45.8 miles in altitude, downrange distance 69 miles, velocity 5,413 miles per hour. Coming up on our RCS pyro valve activation, it is now fired. Systems now pressurizing the flight levels. We've begun our 2.5G throttle segment. Engine response looks good. Current altitude is 60 miles in altitude, downrange distance 118 miles. Velocity is 6,983 miles per hour. Coming up on our next mark event will be payload fairing jettison followed by the CFR jettison. And we have payload fairing jettison and CFR jettison. Boosters throttle back up to full thrust. Engine response looks good. Now accelerating at 4.7 Gs as we work our way to our 5G throttle segment. Boost phase cooldown is underway. Now throttling to maintain 5 Gs. Pogo pyro vent has been fired. And I've begun throttling to 4.6 Gs in preparation for BECO. Boost phase cooldown is complete. We have BECO engine shutdown looks good. We have retros and stage separation. We have locks and fuel pre-start. RCS GN2 purge firing is underway. We have ignition and full thrust on the RL-10. Centaur closed loop steering has been enabled. Small body rates associated with closed loop steering. Vehicle tank pressures are being ramped down as expected. Centaur PU has been commanded to oxidizer rich fixed angles for the early part of this six minute and two second burn. Current altitude is 112 miles, downrange distance is 589 miles, velocity is 14,318 miles per hour. Range track shows the vehicle right down the middle of the corridor, making excellent progress.